I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll prove right triangle geometric mean altitude theorem. In one of the previous videos we have already shown that when we drop an altitude from vertex of a right triangle on the hypotenuse then it divides the triangle into two similar triangles. In fact, we will have three similar triangles in that situation. Now, when the triangles are similar, then the ratio of their sides are constant and they are in fact equal. And we'll use that to show that altitude is geometric mean of the two side lengths of the hypotenuse. So the question here is, in fact, the theorem here is the altitude drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle separates the hypotenuse into two segments. The length of this altitude is the geometric mean between the lengths of these two segments, right? So this we actually prove from similarity, which we have already proven in one of the previous videos. But here, let's look into it once again. So let me first consider the triangle the big triangle ACB, so we are considering triangle ACB, I mean, okay, so in triangle ACB, C is the right angle, let's compare it with triangle ADC, triangle ADC, so if you observe, you will see that in both these triangles, we have one right angle, in triangle ACB angle C is 90 degrees and in ADC angle D is 90 degrees. Second we have angle A as common, right? Since two angles are same, congruent, these two triangles are similar. Correct? So these two triangles are similar. Now if we compare the triangle ACB with the other smaller triangle, so ACB, so we will write CDB, triangle CDB. Reason is right angle is C and in this triangle also right angle is D. So you'll observe that here we have one right angle, right? And angle B is common, correct? So therefore, these two triangles are also similar. Now from here, since big triangle is similar to these two small triangles, we can say that this small triangles are also similar. So triangle ADC is similar to triangle CDB, right? Now once they are similar, it also means all the angles should be exactly same, right? So that means angle A should be equal to this angle and angle B should be equal to that angle, right? So that is how the situation is. Now when we have set of similar triangles, we can always write down the ratio of the sides and see what that turns out to be. So let us compare the lengths of the shorter legs. I should say the legs, right? So what I've done here is I've again drawn these three triangles. This is a big one, ACB, right? And we have tilted so that we have right angle right on the top. And they look similar now, right? So this angle D has been plotted here. For the small triangle, we have AC. And for that triangle, Again, D has been placed like that, and we have this side on the base, right, which is the hypotenuse. A is the hypotenuse, correct? So you get these three triangles. It becomes very easy to compare the sides with this, correct? So let us compare the ratio of these legs, right, these legs, correct? So if you compare the ratio of these legs, what do you see? You see B over A from the first triangle, is equal to x over h, which is equal to h over y, correct? h over y. So that is the ratio of sides, since the triangles are similar, should be exactly same, right? Now, if we look at the last two, these ones, if you cross multiply, what do you get? You get x, y equals to h square, right? Or you can say h equals to square root of x, y. Now that is what we mean when we say right triangle 
geometric mean altitude theorem right so the altitude which is h is square root of product of x and y it is geometric mean of these two segments so that is what right triangle geometric mean altitude theorem is right so let me now state the theorem once again it is the altitude drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle separates the hypotenuse into two segments the length of this altitude is the geometric mean between the lengths of these segments right so that is how you prove it so i like you to go through this video and also watch the video on three similar triangles to understand this theorem and we'll have few application questions thereafter thank you and all the best